So it's been about a week since I made the sorrel drink. I had it two days on the counter and the rest of the days I just had it in the refrigerator chilling. I'm opening this up now for the first time after a week. Now we'll go ahead and taste now. Wow. This is really nice. This is sorrel at its best. I really like this. This is very, very nice. It's a heavy drink. You really can't drink too much. It's like a wine, I would say. This is very nice. It's like a lemonade. In this pot, I'm going to add 10 cups of water and bring the water to a boil. Now my water has come to a rolling boil. I'm going to turn my stove off. And I'm going to add the sorrel. This is about four ounces. Um, it's a little bit more than two cups. This is the dry sorrel. Two cinnamon sticks. Three star anise. And some cloves. about two inches of ginger a half a a half a tablespoon of vanilla um, essence extract one and a half cup of sugar mix it well I'll cover the pot and let it simmer. We'll let this simmer for about 10 minutes. So the sorrel has been simmering for at least 10 minutes. Now I'm going to um, put it aside and let it cool down for a few hours. Once it's cooled down, I'm going to put it in a container and let it sit on the counter for a few days. Could be anywhere between two to seven days. Now I'm going to add to this to this um, sorrel drink a cup of ginger bug. So I have here about one cup of ginger bug added to the sorrel to give it some fizziness. Stir it in. I'm going to strain this ginger, um, this sorrel drink, and put it in this jar. And the remaining I'm just going to discard.
Now, as I pour the the sorrow drink in this uh, this bottle, I'm going to cover it and leave it on the counter. for two days and then I'll put it in the refrigerator. We're going to do a taste test. So this is sorrel. This is your sorrel drink. So here you have it. Your homemade sorrel drink. Fresh from the stove. So it's been about a week since I made the sorrel drink I had it two days on a counter and the rest of the days I just had it in the refrigerator chili well today I'm going to do a taste this one here is the one I made and I removed all the stuff that I put in a pot of hot water and this is the remaining, these are all the sorrel itself and all the ginger and everything. I just decided to include it in the, uh, in, the, in the fermenting process. I just add hot water and kept it in the refrigerator. So I'm going to go ahead now and taste. I'm opening this up now for the first time after a week. Go ahead and taste now. Wow, this is really nice. You could taste the tangy taste of the sorrel, the sugar, and all the other ingredients. This is really nice. This is sorrel at its best. I really like this. This is very, very nice. It's a heavy drink. You really can't drink too much. It's like a wine, I would say. Now this sorrel drink here, this is the one I have all this stuff in. This is very nice. It's like a lemonade. Wow, this is so good. 